There are new developments this morning in the Breonna Taylor case, the case that has once again fueled outrage in the U.S. over police brutality and racial injustice. Kentucky's Attorney General will today release a recording of the grand jury's deliberations. One of the jurors asked to set the record straight about why the grand jury did not bring murder charges against the three police officers involved in the March shooting of Breonna Taylor in her home. Laura McQuillan is here with these new details. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Heather. Yeah, grand jury details proceedings normally kept secret, but what we now know is that after this request from one of those jurors, and actually after an order from a judge as well yesterday, Kentucky's Attorney General must make those recordings and a transcript public uh, either today or tomorrow, a deadline of noon tomorrow. What we're learning from this juror on the grand jury is that they felt uncomfortable with how Kentucky's Attorney General framed their decision last week in the Breonna Taylor case. The jury deciding to charge one officer with endangering Taylor's neighbours, but not to charge the two officers who actually shot her. Well, this juror, according to a motion filed in court yesterday, says prosecutors never presented the option of charging those other officers to them. So so this juror asking for those details to be released, a recording, but also to let the jurors speak publicly. That individual wants to remain anonymous, but take a look at some of the details from their court motion, saying that Kentucky's Attorney General attempted to make it very clear that the grand jury alone made the decision, but saying that using the grand jurors as a shield to deflect accountability and responsibility for these decisions only sows more doubt in the process leaving a cold chill down the spines of future grand jurors. Now, the Attorney General's office had little choice but to say it would publish these details after the judge's order yesterday. We did see a statement, however, from Kentucky's Attorney General, uh, Daniel Cameron, in that statement, saying that the office stands by its belief that releasing that information could compromise an ongoing FBI investigation and potentially poison the jury pool in the case of that one officer who was charged with endangerment. He goes on to say that once the public listens to the recording, they'll see that the prosecution team presented a thorough and complete case to the grand jury. Now I have reached out to Kentucky's Attorney General's office, also to the lawyer representing that grand jury member this morning, waiting to hear back from them, Heather, on any more details from that. All right, Laura, and you mentioned the one officer charged with wanton endangerment for those stray bullets that struck a neighboring apartment. He made his first court appearance yesterday, and what happened there? That's right. Former Detective Brett Hankerson charged with three counts of wanton endangerment, as I mentioned, for Breonna Taylor's neighbors not over her death, pleading not guilty to those three counts yesterday. He could face up to five years on each count there. His lawyer in court asking if Hankerson could keep his firearms for self-defense because he has allegedly faced threats, a judge rejecting that. Now, in the meantime, those other two officers who were not charged still face a professional investigation from the Louisville police, that FBI civil rights investigation also ongoing. So there is the possibility of more discipline against them and the possibility of more charges to follow, but we'll have to wait and see on those. Laura, thank you very much.